Good afternoon and welcome to the very, very last episode of The Kingdom of Ruin. Notice I'm talking in a low, low voice because of the bullshit we got. Look, you're talking about disappointments in anime. There are a few. There are some shows of 2023 that were very, very disappointing. Very disappointing. We get hype on the trailers. We get hype on these 15 seconds YouTube shorts of the shows. And then we ask ourselves, you know what? Is this worth watching? Is it? Yes. Because the moments that they showed us will get us going to like, why? I'm loving this. Make it happen. Okay. Then Kingdom of Ruin came out. And then you know what? I didn't start talking about Kingdom of Ruin until I saw a YouTube short and on Crunchyroll about this. So I started watching it. And that clip where Chloe got total annihilation. Strip her clothes, strip her clothes off, and then they shot her to death, and then they chopped her head off. And in that moment, I felt like Oh my God, this is a revenge story going on and I'm loving it. And shows like that, going back to like Redo of Healer, and I will say this to the day I'm up there. I'll say it again with pride. Redo of Healer is the goat. It's better than JoJo. I could go on and on. And it's better than JoJo. But my point is, Redo of Healer, when it comes to revenge, I like that. So then I'm looking at the Kingdom of Ruins. And then everything, you know, from the last two episodes was so impactful in terms of revenge. And I like Adonis for that. Kingdom of Ruins has its ups and downs and it has some major flaws. Major fucking flaws. So flaws to the point, like, where's the story takes us? I mean, think about it. You went from the world of witches versus Human, magic versus technology. Society, race, everything about that. He just seems like, okay, you want to see what's going on. How society treat humans as humans. How society treat witches as witches. And then Dorico. Talk about the human punching bag in this season. She's been the human punching bag since the beginning. And we felt bad for her, and I felt bad for her. But again, going back to all of this, it went from here to here. It was so disappointing, it's not even funny. And for this last episode, it's just a colossal waste of fucking time. Matter of fact, my review don't even have to be this long. I'm just proving this. This just this, this these right now three minutes twenty seconds. Of this, this is just a big old exposition. So without further ado, let's get right to it. The last season finale of The Kingdom of Ruins. Okay, when it comes to boss battles, how do you want to how do you want to end? Good ending, bad ending, or WTF ending? But when it comes to the when it comes to the last episodes of an anime, or even a boss fight, or a season finale one, even in a boss battle, you got to make it clean. Now, Donis who's been in control of Doriko's spell, used the most powerful spell to eliminate that cyborg freaking dreadlock piece of shit. The going absolute zero. Absolute zero. Not really, absolute zero. Like, you see how Rukia does absolute zero and she does it better. But my point is, Adon and like, the battle, I mean, he got a power up. He got a power up so much that he took down, he took him out. But the battle wasn't even lasted long. It was like maybe five minutes into the anime, like five minutes into it, minus the opening. But still, this battle ended quick. It ended so quick that I wasted my time. I felt like I want to throw something like freaking tax and just throw them because. That was a colossal waste of fucking time watching this battle. The battle was so quick, I felt like, 
I feel like grabbing a sandwich, come back, and then the battle's over. I mean, by the time I finish making my sandwich, the, the battle's already ended. And I'm like, yeah, I could just read. Or or I could just do the better thing. Just read my mangas on my tablet and just, like, see what's going on. Because that battle was fucking quick. Yeah, okay, don has got a power up, which was great and all. But still, the battle was so freaking weak. It was so, like, <laughs> cost a little waste of fucking time. And you want to talk about the story. Like, where the story, where will this story takes us? Yeah, Adonis and Dorico took down him. And now, and then, you know, he put the whole, we put part of the world into absolute zero. And, you know, Dorico is Dorico. And you kind of feel bad for her throughout the entire season. Adonis, on the other hand, you know, he made some mistakes in the past. But he's now fixing it. And you, you got to thank Chloe for... When we got to see Chloe once again, that's the only good thing about it. Well, two things, actually. One, you got to thank Chloe for coming back and just being, like, looking out for Adonis, you know. You see how you could say proud of him. She's proud of him because she's now... he She now see Adonis as caring. For which caring for Dorico, like just how it, it's kind of the opposite in some ways. If you think about it, a witch taking care of a human. Now a human is taking care of a witch. It's kind of like the opposite right now. So now he's taking care of Dorico at the moment. Now we got to see the queen jogging like she's like, like idols are jogging and working out. So we got to see that. And then they show these six other, like these other regional areas these dark, like the sh like these other areas bound to like in terms of nations who it's like the Avatar, Earth Nation, Fire Nation, Water Nation, Air Nation, like what we're we doing here. After that, now, after that, okay, it shows us how Dorico and the Donna's journey will move on. And Dork and um for Dorico, you know, for losing her eyesight, she's now completely blind. Completely blind. Adonis will get will do whatever she can to, will do everything he can to get her eyes back. Truth be told, we don't not we don't know. And I'm gonna say we don't know because we don't know we're gonna get a fucking second season. Judging how trash this show was. Now, after everything good, you know, well not good, after everything was okay, we got to the ending part where they show the sister. Now, for those of us who for those of you who've been living under a rock or probably forgot about her. You guys know back in the episode two when she went, pressed the device and got the EMP thing of all witches. As a result, everyone was dying at the time. So result, she got a nosebleed. She was just like, because she pressed the device and it was near her. So because of that, they locked her up in a, they put her in like a hyperbolic chamber or something like that, you know, just like when Goku, in Dragon Ball Z, he got beat up and they put him in there to reach to heal himself. That that kind of thing. So, a healing chamber. So, you're looking at this, he's like, yeah. So, she still has that grudge against Adonis. And she's still remembering not only facing Adonis, but also the death of his brother. I mean, of her brother, the one that got sliced in the middle. But, like I said, overall, disappointing. This is a disappointing way to end it. So disappointing. I mean, the fights was quick. Not much you can get out of this, but just we don't know where this leads in the Kingdom of Ruin. I don't know. To be honest, I don't think this. I don't think this is gonna get a second season. This was a disappointing one. So much. It was so disappointing. Like when it comes to shows that gets a second season and doesn't. I mean, I'm sorry. When a show that gets its first season, you look at it and you say, "That's not getting a second season." The way how it ended ain't gonna get a second season. Now. I'll be surprised if it did, but for this show to be so quick, plot sucks, storyline, you had it and they blew it. There's not much to say about it. I, I give the show probably a five. And the half part was, yeah, okay, the revenge, the blood, the blood, the, the fights. The moments that we say, oh my god, like, okay, and sad moments, they gave us that. 
But then you look at from a story and the plot, the, the direction away, it's just, why? Why gave us that? So I can't really say, hey, oh my God, it's great. It's disappointing. It's one of the most disappointing animes of 2023. I think the other most disappointing one is the God one where Michan, the little god girl, the little god godlike character, you know, that kind of thing. I forgot the name of that title, but it was so random. That that and Tokyo Avengers. But there's a lot of disappointing animes this year, and this was one of them. Very, I'm very disappointed in this show. That's why I give it a five out of ten. So I just want to let you guys know how I'm how I am because normally I go crazy on me. But the reason I'm talking like this is because this was a colossal waste of fucking time. This was a waste of time. I mean, if you guys want to give it a shot, go right ahead. If you want to see some blood action, this is your show. But again, this is not what it is. Trust me, it's not. So thank you for watching my last review of The Kingdoms of Ruins. See, look, I forgot what even episode 12 or 13. I think we're 12. See what I mean? That's how disappointing I am. But anyway, anyway, I'm looking forward for next year's shows. Next year's show is going to be some jam-packed ones, good ones I'm looking forward to. I will do a video about it in terms of what shows i'm gonna do reviews on oh for that for the for the next year oh and do some q a just to trigger you guys just to trigger you guys in terms of like what fan base is more annoying this and that it's gonna be a lot of things i'm gonna discuss about so just to just to show y'all i'm not crazy about it but you'll see but anyway i look forward to it and i'm sure you will